Hey guys, welcome to another New World video. In today's video, I thought I would share with you a few of the ways I improve my watermark while I'm solo. But before we begin, I again would like to say a huge thank you to everyone who has supported me so far, and for all the kind words of encouragement in the comments. You guys are the reason I make these videos, and I can't express how much I appreciate you and the support you show me. Now, let's get to the video. First guys, if you can, try to find yourself a luck set, preferably heavy, because you may not always find the right perks and stats aside from the luck that you would like. Luck in this instance will really help speed up pushing your watermark, because it will increase the amount of drops you get overall. You can also improve your luck with perks on your bags, your shield, trophies in your homes, weapons, and your jewelry. The goal here is to get as much luck as possible before heading out. This isn't mandatory, but having high luck will greatly increase the amount that drops as I said before, and it will overall speed up the process that we're about to begin of raising your watermark. The first place I would like to show you is this area right here. It is along the path leading from Mountain Rise Outpost to Eden Grove just before you cross over to the Broken Stairs. This whole area is filled with level 61 to 63, non-elite Angry Earth. This is a great place to start out grinding that watermark because the NPCs here are not very dangerous and drop loot fairly often. A few other benefits of farming your watermark here are the abundance of ironwood trees that you can harvest in between spawns, the Azoth water pools spawn here, and Azoth water is hot right now because of Outpost Rush, so they will sell pretty well. There is a bunch of star metal nodes in this area, and all of these dots that you can see on the map, these are small chests with tier 5 crafting reagents that respawn every hour or so. Another thing about this area that is awesome is that a very easy to kill named NPC spawns right here at Spryla Tower. This NPC is named Faye the Last Protector. This guy is a very easy to kill and drops great loot. His loot quality to start will depend on your current watermark, but if you farm him, you can not only use his loot to push your watermark up, but you may find some of the stuff he drops useful. These three things are the main things you will be farming him for. The chef pants are always 500 gear score, but very useful. The hammer and the rapier will drop between gear score 500 and 600, becoming legendary at 600, depending on your current watermark. Then, after you kill him, there is a large chest where he spawns for you to loot. So you can see, this location is one of my favorites for a fresh 60 looking to get started. All the way to a seasoned 60, who is just after luck on phase or the chef pants for the set. If you come here and find that you are struggling, there are a few things you can do to make this farm a lot easier. For one, be sure to use weapons that deal fire damage, like a fire staff or weapon socketed with a ruby gem. This will help you because the angry earth are weak to fire damage. Also, you can get Angry Earth Weapon Coating that will increase your damage to Angry Earth for a time with your weapon you applied it to. You can also have Angry Earth Bane trophies in your homes, which is nice if you're planning a long farm session here. Stacking them times 3 makes you kill these with complete ease. And finally, you can get tinctures that will protect you against the blight, which really is the only thing you have to fear from these NPCs. Next up, we are heading to this area right over here. It is a trench leading from the road to East Illyrum in the Shattered Mountains. This whole area is full of electric disco ghost things that are probably the most dangerous part. They do some fire damage, but are more than manageable as long as you do not pull more than two. They are a great farm because they drop items raising your watermark to 550-ish. I think maybe even a little higher, but a little lower than our last location. Here you will also find three small chests that you can loot tier 5 crafting reagents from every hour or so. The best part of this location is a boss spawns here named Corrupted Excubitor Luca. He is a pretty easy name to kill and drops some very nice loot. Aside from the fire staff which can range from 500 to 600 legendary depending on how far you push your watermark farming, he also drops many legendary crafting parts needed for recipes you can learn. He respawns roughly every 10 minutes and is an easy kill, so you can either farm the NPCs in the area between spawns, or just camp it out and just kill him. Either way, you will always come out of this farm ahead. If you struggle here, my best advice would be to get a little fire resistance on your gear, or wear heavy armor. Because it is a mix between lost and corrupted in this area, it is difficult to choose a weapon specifically to do bonus damage to one, but if you are mindful of your aggro, you should not have much issue in this area. And our next location is Spileo Cavern, located right outside Mountain Rise Outpost. It is probably my favorite place to farm watermark and crafting reagents. Here you will find ancients. The mob density is great for watermark grinding, and there are a lot of small chests in here with tier 5 mats. 
Some people skip the regular mobs to just grind the named NPCs in here, but I recommend against this. They seem to drop loot very often, and every drop helps when pushing your watermark. There are two named here you can rotate between killing. Both are very easy kills. If you do not have at least your level 60 PvP set of gear, then you will simply want to roll or dodge out of the boss's heavy animations, but aside from that it is pretty much just a farm. These bosses drop some very nice items, starting out as Epic Gear Score 500, and increasing all the way to gear score 600 legendary. The healing staff is especially amazing, so even if you have pushed your watermark up to 580 plus, he is still very worth the farm. After killing each boss, you will also find a large chest behind each of their respective spawn locations, which is a bonus shot at some great loot and watermark raising potential. If you are struggling here, there are a few things you can do to take the edge off. They are all ancients, so consider using weapons like great hammers or at least ones that can be gemmed to topaz because these mobs are very weak to electricity. Also a nice perk for weapons or armor are ancient associated perks like ancient bane for weapons or ancient ward for armor. You can also use ancient bane trophies in your homes. Stacking these makes killing ancients almost trivial and can be a great help if you are stuck. And, of course, there are potions and tinctures that can be used to help you do more damage and receive less damage from Ancients, respectively. And finally, Outpost Rush. This, in my opinion, is the absolute best way to grind your watermark at the moment in-game. You get three gear rolls per win or lose, and this gear does count towards your watermark and can push you all the way up to 600. There's no real barrier to entry other than being level 60. Your gear or weapons don't limit you here directly in any way. As a bonus, while doing these, you also get between 125 and 300 A's off and 175 and 350 gold per game depending on your contribution and if you win, which gives a slight bonus. So it is always a good idea to be grinding these. And as a very special added bonus, they can actually be a refreshing change of pace and fun compared to just grinding mobs all day. So guys, I hope this has helped some of you who have been asking me how to get started on gear and watermark as a fresh level 60 get on the right path. These were of course again meant for advice for primarily solo fresh 60s looking to progress. If you have a solid company or a group of friends, your best option will always be instancing of course and grinding elite areas for chests and mob drops. Anyways guys, Thanks for watching, and if you have any other great secret places you know where you pushed your watermark, please post it in the comments, and thanks for watching. And I also wanted to add at the end of this video, because I was reading my comments and it sort of made me laugh, that I sound like a voice-to-speech AI program. I wanted to explain to you guys something really quick. I'm not a voice-to-speech AI program. In fact, I speak like this because I want to make sure. Um, how do I explain this in a way? I'm from a small town in Canada near Ottawa, and I have a tendency to drop F-bombs and speak with colorful language. So if you're wondering why I speak in a monotone, slow, controlled way, that's why. So I hope you guys understand, and believe me, I'm not an AI program. So thanks for watching, I appreciate everything, and see you in the next one.